Have you ever encountered a lawyer who was so good that you were lost for words? I had been the victim of a road rage incident when I was in my twenties. I was in a left turn only lane, the perpetrator named Najri was in the right turn only lane, and she wanted to go left. I made my turn, without ever noticing her, as there weren't very many cars on the road, and went into a restaurant to pick up my dad's dinner. She followed me in, kicked the chair out from under me and kicked the crap out of me while screaming, do you know who I am? Luckily, one of the waiters got her license plate number. I had eight broken ribs, a fractured cheekbone, and she had ruptured all of my stitches from my gallbladder surgery that I'd had two weeks prior. She tried to have me arrested for assault, saying that I threw her against her car. I'll come back to that. At my first court appearance, the prosecutor took me into a room and wanted me to drop the charges against this woman. I obviously refused. The prosecutor said, you are 22, you work as a hairdresser, and you live with your parents. You are nothing. Marjorie is a pillar of the community, and is the child psychologist for the county, so I'd think real hard over this. I did point out that I had brought a witness, the waiter, as well as notarized affidavits from several people who were in the restaurant at the time, and CCTV footage from the restaurant, too. She refused to allow them to be admitted. Wasn't she supposed to help me? The judge wanted me to let the perpetrator have my car fixed. She broke a window and keyed the door, by some unlicensed guy, whom she had treated when he was in school. I agreed to an estimate, but I was going to get my own estimate as well. My sister used to work as a legal secretary, and she took me to one of her old bosses. He went over all of the evidence, and he agreed to come with me for the second court date. So, at the next date, the prosecutor called me back to a private room, before going into the courtroom, again trying to force me to drop the charges, but still wanted me for assault. My lawyer, Mark, said, so you say that my client threw Marjorie over the hood of her own car and held her against a wall with her right arm, correct? The prosecutor said, that's what Marjorie told me. Mark then said, Marjorie, how tall are you? She replied, 5 foot 10. He then asked how tall I was, and I replied, 5 foot 3. Marjorie, you are a big woman, easily close to 200 pounds, while Coley weighs 92 pounds, so how could she throw you? The prosecutor replied, that's not important. I disagree, Marjorie, you said in your sworn statement that Coley held you up against the wall with her right arm. Are you certain that you want to say that? That girl is a wild animal, who knows what those people are capable of. Well, Coley had emergency surgery two weeks prior to the incident, on her right side, and still cannot lift that arm past shoulder level. No thanks to you, also, she's left-handed. Checkmate, Marjorie, at this point, jumped up and started screaming about how important she was and I was just white trash. When Mark stood up, looked down at her and said, Lady, you might have convinced this prosecutor that you're somebody special, but I have, in my briefcase, a filing ready to go to the state board, along with all the evidence from this case, as well as sworn observations about your general behavior from your fellow psychologists and some of your neighbors. You will never be able to work again once I'm through with you, so I suggest that you sit down and admit that you lied and that you beat this white trash girl for no reason. Then, he turned to the prosecutor and said, how dare you assume that someone is guilty because they're not from this town, what does that prove, or are you just bored and lazy? Marjorie had to pay for all of the damage done to my car, as well as the ambulance service, medical costs relating to everything that she did to me, and the damage she did to the chair in the restaurant. All of my charges were dropped and expunged. Mark usually handled divorce cases, but he had way too much fun that night.